much. Channel 3 is your back to school authority and we've spent time this week focusing on how different districts are welcoming students back to the classroom. But leaders of one high school in Middletown have to accommodate kids from all over Connecticut. Channel 3's Roger Suzanne looks into how teachers and students are making it work at Mercy High School. It's still a little strange watching kids returning to school with masks covering their faces. But students we spoke with outside Mercy High School in Middletown this morning tell us they still have that first day excitement. I feel really happy, but I feel nervous at the same time. But I feel glad that we're actually able to go back to school and we're able to see our friends and the teachers. Inside room 114, students attended their first class of the semester. The girls spaced out for safety reasons and, of course, wore facial coverings. But their teacher, Carrie Duque, says she can feel the joy even through the masks. Just nice to hear their laughter again because it's something that you really miss that connection with them when you're on the computer all the time. Carrie is pregnant and wasn't sure if she'd teach in the classroom this year, but she felt better about it after going over Mercy's security enhancements, including hallway arrows, one-way stairs, and locks on water fountains. Once I saw the safety plan, I knew that they had their best, the best interest in the teachers and. Um, I just felt confident coming back. Most Mercy High School students feel the same way. Enrollment is more than 350 girls, and despite full virtual learning programs available, 85% of students have already returned to the classroom. Yeah, I'm excited to get back into the role of things and not stay at home all the time and be able to see my friends. It's exciting. I'm glad to just like interact with people and just like not my family. <laughs> Mercy students come from 49 different towns, so the safety plan must remain flexible. School President Alyssa Dejan is confident, though, because she believes in the young ladies who are sitting far apart in the classrooms. They are wise beyond their years. I've, they've shown a maturity and a resiliency that uh, I haven't seen in as many adults as I would have hoped. So it's just, it's, it's so, we feel so hopeful about the future because of these students. In Middletown, Roger Susanen, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Right.